Hello, this is Steve Powers. Today I am just going to do a uh, quick uh, tutorial, or actually not tutorial, really a review on um, Criter and uh, the resources um, uh, for your brushes. Um, this is 4.3 has come out and it's uh, almost like a new program. Uh, the upgrade between 4.2.9 and 4.3 uh, using the resources uh, of your system are, are tremendous. Um, it's very smooth. It's uh, the only program that I know that really can give Photoshop a run for the money. I mean, this is a free open source program that is uh, professional. Okay. Um, the only other one that I um, really use and I like a lot is uh, Sketchbook Pro. It is a, it was a commercial product that is now free to the public. All you have to do is sign up um, with Autodesk, you know, email and um, that you can use on your phone or whatever but and that's a great place to start but it doesn't have the editing capability doesn't have the coloring um, and uh, the uh, dynamic brushes that you can get from uh, Krita but Krita is not just a painting tool granted that's primarily where I use it um, but it's an editing tool so you can create you know comics you can create um, you know uh, prints from it I do a lot of print work it's more print work actually for illustrations but Krita is, uh, to me, is awesome. So uh, if you haven't used it before, uh, please do so. You can uh, just type in krita.com, uh, or .org, excuse me, and uh, then download it. Um, trust me, it's, uh, hey, nothing to lose. So, and matter of fact, if you weren't interested, you probably won't be watching this video. So what we're going to do, um, first off, I did have issues. And this is what led me to working with um, the brushes in Crytomore. I had issues with my tablet. Um, it turned out to be the tablet. It was the XP Pen uh, Deco Pro um, that um, really had a very short life for me. It uh, stopped functioning after the first update. Um, it slowed down. Then uh, two more updates and it was done. It just I, I didn't have the sensitivity on there anymore. It didn't work um, on any of the programs. Um, I'm thinking it was my PC, so I've tried it on tablets and things like that. Tried it on other PCs, and the exact same problem. So, um, but the one thing I did notice with Krita is that um, I had lag in my brushes. Granted, I was, and we're going to test it again on a very large uh, 16 by 11 inch um, canvas, and uh, we're going to use very large brushes. Some uh, with uh, dynamic. Oh, they're all actually have dynamics, I believe, uh, but some more so than others. And so to identify that issue, I had to do a lot of troubleshooting. And um, I did replace my tablet with a, a Huawein uh, HS610 uh, medium tablet, um, which, I mean, for the price, it was actually cheaper than the XP Pen uh, Deco. It was at, I think, $79 or $72 when I got it. And um, I'm thrilled with that. It's, it's beautiful. Um, I'm not fighting uh, the tablet in the program, um, the the Krita, um has great tablet support. Not like GIMP back in the day where I had to oh, go through, sh jump through hoops, and it really got in the way of being an artist. Here I had to be a, a computer tech first to be an artist, and that isn't what we want. We want a stable program, and we want stable hardware that we can just sit down and not worry about that. It just it's there, just like traditional uh, pen and paper, and you know, uh, pains or what have you. It's it's always there. You don't have to fight. You just have to, you know, work out your um, skills, work out, um, improve your skill set, improve your composition, things like that. Work on artwork. So, in this case, I'm just doing a little uh, overview of um, and try to do as quick as possible without uh, talking too much. Uh, well, I've already done that. So, let's go and um, I'm going to adjust this. Um, so I'm going to make a, uh, this is a 16 by uh, 11 inch uh, program uh, or uh, file. The resolution is 300, which is print quality. I can create that. Um, I did change one thing from the default is up in settings. You go to configure Krita and I uh, go to display. And I change it to the 3D and the bilinear filtering. Um, this is something I got uh, by researching and say, hey, um, you know what what issues are we having is there any way to speed things up and other people were complaining about it too but I have to say um, I'm uh, it, it makes a little bit of a difference 
in um, uh, 4.3, but in 4.29 it was almost needed. So if you uh, don't want to do it that way, you can make a, you can start small like we used to do in the ba back in the day, um, which you can still do today. It doesn't matter. It's the same same processes. You start with a smaller canvas and you enlarge it. Um, you can start with 100 DPI or PPI and um, uh, you, you you know go I don't know six by six by six or whatever you know six by four and then enlarge it and as the canvas gets bigger um, you know you're you're actually drawing smaller so you've already done all the background all the big shapes and everything like that so you you get into the details for that so in this case I'm just gonna use my favorite brushes and I am just gonna pretty much scribble so um, I mean you have your your your, your favorite airbrushes now these are kind of large um, I'm not having any drag. I'm using the tablet so I can use it's got pressure sensitivity on it And you can see how you know I, I can work around it not a problem um, No lag on it, and that's what I want. I don't want to have to worry about that um, Now you know even simple brushes like this um, uh, I do have um, I sh I'm using my pencil my pen for um, the button is a uh, program to be shift one of the buttons is so I can just drag it across to change the uh, tip of um, whatever brush I'm using um, you can also use a little keyboard uh, I do that for the shortcuts even though I have built-in buttons on the uh, tablet I always I have a little travel keyboard for um, for changing out my uh, my uh, settings or changing you know, going from tool to tool excuse me okay so can see here where we're just doing some of this and this is just the pencil and um, you can actually do a very large pencil on here I'm not gonna have and I'm not having any drag so I can get in here and I can just just do this and you know I'm, I'm just doodling here you know some of this gets very dark very light um, but it's in the big texture ones that I like a lot because I mean, it's not. I mean, it's got a lot of spacing in here, and I'm not getting any drag on it. Now, things like this. I mean, again, you know, you can bring that down as well, and use it as you know a texture tool because pretty much what you start doing. You can also change everything else, of course. Um, everything in here, here is you can edit. Um, but so if I want to put that you know I could make this like a foliage this would be great for adding leaves um, to something but what I'm doing is I'm just trying to stress out the system and see what it can do so I'm just trying to adjust the uh, what I can do on my tablet this is great, you know. This you can use this as a stamping tool as well. But if you notice that it's not, um, I'm not having a problem with it. This is a great little marker tool. It does actually mimic marker quite well because you can, you know, how you can just keep adding to it. Of course, I can also go d really dark too. Um, you, and again, you know, you want to turn off opacity. I'm not, I'm not going to go into it, what you can do in, on all the uh, brushes. Uh, but if you're com coming from Photoshop and you're looking for something that's out, that's uh, you can pretty much do what you do in Photoshop, but you need it to uh, be uh, subscription free, um, which a lot of people um, really hated when uh, Photoshop went that way. I mean, I still have a version of CS6 uh, that I can use, but you know, eventually. Um, you know, which, God forbid, I have to reinstall it. I probably wouldn't be able to do it. Oops. Again, let's grab another brush. Um, let's try. I think that's a, uh, like a chalk or something. Yeah. So I'm, I'm not having any drag on this. Um, it's it's um, very, very nice to use. So if you... Basically, this is all this tutorial or review really was supposed to be is the brushes in 4.3. I have, um, or, or this, and it's not, not the brushes. The brushes are the same that was in 4.2.9, but the system and using the resources that uh, of your system, I should say, 
Crater is just more stable in 4.3 than um, any of the previous ones. And it's almost acting like it's a whole new program under the hood, even though it's, you know, you, you, it, sh it didn't really change out the engine. It's just the way it's processing. Um, and uh, I'm just thoroughly impressed with the guys um, that have been developing this tool, the whole team, uh, and the community, because uh, if you don't know something about Crider, you can just go to any search engine and type it in. You can go to Crider's homepage, and, which I will include um, in the description of the video. But um, you can go to Crider's homepage and find uh, so many different uh, tutorials and um, help topics. So um, the su community support, the um, uh, Crider support in general from that team is um, a top notch. So uh, hats off to you guys, and thank you very much. And uh, thank you for listening and um, or viewing, and I will uh, see you next time. Have a good day. Thank you.